the PPPC government ever obtain credible information that Roger Khan was a drug dealer. As my interview of the former president and prime minister Samuel Hines continued, you will hear him say that he met Roger Khan and at the time as prime minister, he had heard that Roger Khan was a drug dealer. I did meet Roger Khan once myself. Mr. Hines said that there were some road works being done in Peruni and the person who owned the lands wanted to sell it to Roger Khan and so they came to him in his office for a meeting. There was a American, white American guy, I think John Adams, who had spent a lot of money he, on the road from Peru, going to Peruni to, to, to an area where he had a thing clear where he had some properties. And yet it appears he had spent out all his money in putting in a good road, a very good road, from Itabali to Peru. And in fact, he came in. I was working with my secretary outside my office. And uh, the three people came in. I knew Mr. Adams. I knew Mr. A gentleman he brought working with him named uh, Young Habibullah. He was a boy that lived this alongside me in, in, in Linden in the 70s and grew up. Uh, but he was now a man, and I knew him, and there is this Mr. Khan, which I didn't know. The former prime minister said that the American businessman, John Adams, wanted to partner with Roger Khan on the road development. And Mr. Adams was saying that he wanted a, the road need to be repaired, and he, was, he wanted to find ways to get it my approval. He sought my approval on what I thought about ways to get it done. Mr. Hines then told me that he told Mr. Adams that he had heard that one Roger Khan was wanting to do work on the roads, but that he, Samuel Hines, and his government had also heard that Khan was a drug dealer. So I told him, word has been coming to me that uh, Mr. Roger Khan has been working on the on the roads, that he had had Mr. Roger Khan working on it, on the roads, and uh, uh, our government, me and our government, were very concerned because there was rumors that he was involved in drugs. Mr. Hines went on to say that his government was particularly concerned about Roger Khan's involvement in the road works because there were two private airstrips along that stretch of road. In fact, along that road, you have two, uh, two airstrips that we would certainly not want him to be in control of. Up to this time in the meeting, the Prime Minister said that he did not know who Roger Khan was and that it was Khan himself who was in his office. He said that when he told the men that his government was concerned about Roger Khan's involvement on the road, and especially about the airstrips, the men looked worried. So they started to look a little bit thick at he and then say, and then he said to me, I am Roger Khan. He said that Khan assured him that he Khan was not a drug dealer, telling him Mr. Prime Minister, you shouldn't believe half of what you've been hearing about me. The Prime Minister said that at the time, his government had only rumors that Roger Khan was a drug dealer. Another question I yes. would have is that at that time, you didn't have concrete intelligence that Roger was an, a drug I dealer. I would expect that. Subsequent that group, to that, that did you receive... Did, the group who was, or the minister, or ministry that was responsible for it, mm -hmm. I would expect they did that they didn't have. They did not have. I then asked the former Prime Minister if the PPP had ever obtained credible information that Roger Khan was a drug dealer. PPPC government ever obtained credible information that Roger Khan was a drug dealer. The Prime Minister was halting and deliberate in his response. I couldn't say, I, I would say for my, for my uh, position, I never got, I never, thought or heard uh, credible information. Uh, I never heard or thought, I never heard of information that would go to the court letters. Never, never. I never heard of information that would go to the, that you would make a case with. 
I asked the former prime minister how it is that our neighbor to the east, Suriname, had such credible information on Roger Khan and his drug dealings, and yet the Guyana government did not. You will hear his response in a subsequent report.